Good morning and welcome on board to the P&O Britannia. So in this video, what we're gonna do is just show you around the ship and take you on a, a good old tour of it. But first of all, I'm just gonna spew out a few little facts about the amazing P&O Britannia. So the P&O Britannia, she was christened by the late queen at the ocean terminal on the 10th of March, 2015. And then four days later, she took her maiden voyage on the 14th of March, 2015 making her about eight years old now. So she holds 3,647 passengers, 1,398 crew members, and she cost an eye-watering 473 million pounds to build, and she is 330 meters long. And her first captain was Paul Brown. There's many other facts about it, but you'll just have to Google those. Let's go and show you around this ship. Technically, this ship has 18 decks, but this small part what we're standing on seems like a little bit of a hidden gem. It's at the aft of the ship and it's just above deck 18 where the little sports arena is. It's just quiet up here. You've got some sun decks, uh, sun lounges up here. So maybe if you, you want a nice sunny spot and the sun is at the aft of the ship, just come up here. Right, so we're on deck 18 now. We'll start off with these, I'm gonna call them golf driving nets. And they also have archery targets in there. Uh, check your Horizon magazine for times for all these activities. Right, and then we've got the arena bar here. Either side has two quite large uh, TVs. I'm guessing they might have some of the sports on because they do have a sports channel on board the ship. And then just behind it is the arena. In the arena, they do have like activities going on. They've obviously got basketball nets. They've got, uh, they do football in here as well. Now it is all outdoors, so it will be weather permitting for a lot of these things. But once again, just keep an eye on your daily horizon planner. So deck 18 also goes across the other side of the pool just over there. It's only got a few sun lounges on it, so we just thought we'd show you that from here. Okay, so we're on deck 17 now at the aft. We've got the seating area here and more sun lounges. And then just here is what they are calling the terrace pool. It's not a hot tub or a jacuzzi, it's just a big pool, well, a small pool at the back of the ship. Also on deck 17 is the reef. This is the, like the kids uh, club areas and where they have the activities for a lot of them. Uh, we won't be going in here as we don't have kids. So this is where it is on deck 17. There's also the cookery club, which is, we think this is like a, uh, you have to pay for this, this is like a, I think it's like a cookery lessons. We just popped our head inside. Uh, there's people in there at the moment. There's like all long cooking stations. So we're guessing you can just pay and maybe cook and eat. So we didn't actually know about this. And I think Kev would have probably had me signed up on the day of embarkation if you'd have known about it. I could go and learn a few things, let's say. And then I think while Stacey would have been in the cookery club, I think she might have signed me up as a punishment for some of the spinning classes as well, maybe. And then just past the gym, there's another like little activities area where they've got ping pong tables and then we've seen people playing this is it shuffleboard where you have to you get the little like broom handle and you shove pucks around there's ones on the other side as well that have got numbers on as if you get points so we don't know what these games are if you do let us know down below so on deck 17 just above the pool there's plenty of tables and chairs and also some sun lounges about so there's plenty of space for everybody to get a tan on 17 there's also two two whirlpool spas as well one this side and one directly opposite so around by the pool it does get a bit more lively around here as you can hear already it's quite early and they've got the music going and they have uh, i think uh, in that middle bit there they have a couple maybe like dance activities going on today but then just past here but this is the serenity adults pool and bar area so as the name kind of suggests adults only uh it's a nice little area it's got its own little pool got its own bar as well no food here i've seen ice cream in the bar but there's no hot food um the one thing is we thought it could have done with a hot tub there's no adults only hot tub so Maybe that's missing that, but just here as well, there is the retreat. 
which is the paid for kind of add-on location. This is uh, right at the front of deck 17. I think you have to pay for this in the spa maybe, according to the sign, not too sure. Yeah, so the Serenity area is the furthest you're gonna get at the front of the ship without paying extra for, and then the retreat is just off the Serenity area, just through them doors there. Right, so we're on deck 16 now at the front of the ship and we are just in the Crow's Nest bar. It's a very nice place to come out in the day because it's very quiet in here, it's very relaxed. And then at night, they do have a pianist on throughout the night. Obviously, it's got a bar. And then in the back corner of the Crow's Nest is this little uh, hidden gem. There's no sign on the outside for it. It is on the maps. This is your library. It's got like so many books. I think what you have to do, I think when we first embarked the ship, I read something in the Horizon magazine. I think you have to sign up to be able to like, probably so they can keep a tab on who's having like the books and things like that. So I think you have to sign up to be able to be a part of it. But it does also have a few computers. So if you've paid for internet access, you can use some of the computers. The library does say it is open 24 hours. So I think you can just like sign your own books out if there's nobody here on this sheet. But it's a nice area, there's a few nice seating areas here for just reading a book with a view. I was going to say the books aren't all chucked in as well, they're all done by like genre, so it, it does tell you on there if you're after like a specific subject of book. And then just further down from the crow nest you've got the Epicurean restaurant. Now it is breakfast time at the moment and I have just asked, now you can only eat in here for breakfast if you are in a suite, but this is open for evening meals. There's a quick view of maybe a starter menu there. But yeah, it's paid for in the evening. It's a speciality restaurant. But uh, unfortunately, we aren't sweet guests, so the buffet for breakfast for us commoners. I'm only joking, there is a choice of other restaurants as well. You can also have afternoon tea at the Epicurean as well. The Pino Britannia also does a normal afternoon tea for us commoners who don't want to pay for it, but this one looks a lot posher. Okay, so deck 16 now outside is your main pool area. These are your only two pools. Obviously, more than enough uh, sun lounges around by the pool here. Yeah, so your pool is separated into two. Just here as well, we have the Lido bar. Then you've got the Lido grill where you can get your like quick service cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And then just the other side of the Lido bar, you've got the pizzeria. So this is just obviously, I think they do coleslaw and uh, quick service pizza, just grab and go pizza here. And then opposite where we've just showed you where you get your pizza and your grab and go uh, burgers, the opposite end of the pool, you've got the Riviera bar. So you've got another bar. And then you've also got the ice cream bar, which does Costa coffees and uh, ice creams by the scoop and then in the middle you've got your big instagrammy piano britannia I, deck chair i love this deck chair i don't think you can sit in it though i wouldn't like try it'd like fold up and i'd get trapped inside so one thing that we found uh, the ship does not have is a wraparound promenade deck there is like say outdoor seating but you can't go all the way way around any single deck outside because through there is the buffet, so we, uh, yeah, no promenade deck. And then at the back of deck 16, you've got your Horizon restaurant. This is your buffet. So uh, we won't go in there and show you because we've done a buffet video. So go and watch that if you're more interested in there. So we'll just show you this quickly as well. One part of the buffet towards the back, this is your beach house restaurant, okay? So in the day, it's buffet. This sign gets changed out at night to the beach house one and then it's the beach house restaurant. So it's completely shut off from the buffet and it's all just beach house. Beach house speciality restaurant, yes. yeah, as well. So it is a paid for extra one. Yes. And we have also, we have tried it and it's really, really good, but we have done a video on that as well if you want to check that out. Right, so last part of deck 16 now, we are right at the aft of the ship. This is the sunset bar area. Nice little uh, seating area here with a bar. It's just at the back of the buffet. We were just there where we showed you all that. There's plenty of seating here. So uh, this is it now for all your outside decks. Yeah, so obviously we won't show you through all the cabin decks, but it's strange how it works on this ship because even though it's like say deck uh, 15 to eight, but you get a letter. So we're on deck 10, but it's actually deck E. 
so it does get a little bit confusing so it's maybe something to kind of have a look at in the lifts and stuff and just remember you are E. Yeah, because that's only for the cabin rooms yes. where it's letters and then when it gets to like the public areas it just goes back to numbers again. Yeah, so it's very confusing. It's a bit confusing <laughs> but you do get used to it. So before we get down to uh, the lower decks, just to point out that the ship does have a uh, laundrette for you to use. Now, uh, I don't know if these are on every single deck, but it seems like they've got uh, two double washer dryers, four ironing boards and irons, and then another two washer dryers there. So I know they're on multiple levels. I don't know if they're on all the levels. And I'm pretty sure that they are free to use, but obviously you will need to bring your own detergents and softeners and stuff like that. Right, so we're in the live lounge now. This is at the aft on deck seven. This is your kind of large clubhouse area where they have a lot of things going on in the day and stuff going on at night. I mean, talking about large, this is a very large bar here. So obviously the entertainment differs for each cruise so what we always say is just check your horizon magazine but for example whilst we've been on board we've had like magicians comedians talks alex james he was a member of blur he was doing a talk one day so just check your magazine it looks like at the moment the setup for their in-house band which is pulse so yeah there's there's different things going on right so just past the live lounge we have sindhu this is another specialty restaurant here this is more of a, a curry kind of house but it does also have a bar here and there's more seating area so you don't have to eat in the restaurant to use this seating area so it's another place to just come if the main areas are quite busy so this is the studio this is the Britannia's uh, cinema there's one room one large room this seat seem very comfy. I think I'm in a very narrow row here. My uh, knees are touching the front. But yeah, it's quite a large screen. They seem to have three to four films on a day. Sometimes one is repeated. I think today's was Top Gun Maverick. That's on at noon and then nine o'clock and then they've got two in between those two shows. But no, nice place. Comfy seats. No popcorn. You have to bring your own. So this is the photo gallery. This is where all your onboard photos that have been taken, say during Gala Night and all other events are here. You can come to the screens and you can uh, look at them and think about which ones you want to purchase. Now, we have just seen a price list. I was going to say, look at the ones you want to purchase. You may not want to purchase them when you see the price. It's up to you, but uh, have a look at them. Then we've got the loyalty and future cruises sales area. Uh, we've seen plenty of people in here maybe booking other cruises because if you've had that good of a time on this one you can always come here and book one before you get off the ship and if you haven't don't moan to us in the comments you probably will but sorry so also on deck seven you have the glass house this is another specialty restaurant we have done this so if you're interested in that go and check that video out and then just the other side of the atrium past the shiny chandelier sculpture is java this is a coffee bar this is where you can get costa coffee and if it's included in your drinks package this is one of the coffee houses you can go to get your included costa coffee drinks this is the crystal room now so this is um, a place that you can just sit in the daytime where they, they've had things like quizzes on throughout the day i think they were playing mario kart yes in they, the year one they got day the, we've been kids all days while we're on the ad Mario Kart on the Switch, kids were playing that, I wanted to go but Stacey wouldn't let me. <laughs> and then at night time, it's like a, particularly like a ballroom dancing thing. Yeah, there's a lot of the, yeah, a the older da couples dancing, like the proper dancing, not like us yeah, weirdos. Yeah, there's no like char cha slide, it's like the foxtrot and things like that, so you're more professional dancing. And then just the other side of the crystal room, you've got the headliners theatre. So this is where the main entertainment is every evening. So they have two to three shows per night. Don't forget to have a look in your Horizon magazine. It'll tell you what times and what acts are on every evening. And make sure you have to pre-boot these shows. So go on the p and My Holiday website and make sure that you pre-boot those. So this is actually a really, really nice theatre. It does seat 936 guests. And you can actually, they do allow you to bring your drinks in here. It's not bar service, so you'd have to go to a bar and then bring your drink in here, but they do allow you to do that. So we entered on deck seven. 
you can also enter or exit onto deck six so we'll exit through deck six and show you on this one now we are just in the casino now so it's not a huge casino it's got a lot of these very confusing big screen games and then it's also got some table games it's got a couple of roulettes I think it's got some blackjack and some free card poker as well. Just next to the casino, this is Brodie's. This is your quintessential English kind of pub. It's got like at least 10 plus big TVs on. They've got rugby on at the moment, just behind Stacy. It's got a pool table in. That's not, not very good. It's, uh, it's got five cues and none of them have got tips. So here's a tip. If you like playing pool, maybe bring your own or even a tip for P&O invest in some new cues and some chalk there was no chalk but there was no tip so it didn't, didn't really need chalk did it? and there wasn't an even amount of red and yellow balls no and there was a blue eight ball as well for some reason so just buy a brand new table yeah yeah so this is like the shopping part of the atrium on deck six this is where you get your duty free kind of shops your perfumes and your bags and fine watches if you've had a win in the casino so this is the peninsula restaurant now this is the first of your three main dining rooms we'll just show you quickly in here i think they've just finished the breakfast service so like we've done a video on these explaining how to book your evening meals and stuff like that so you can always watch that for a bit more in depth Right, so that was your first main restaurant on deck six, the Peninsula. There is a second one, the Oriental, but as the sign says, you have to go up the stairs, the other side of the Peninsula and down because this restaurant is at the aft of the ship. Yeah, so just at the bottom of the steps is the Oriental restaurant. This is the second of the three main dining rooms we will, we will be showing you. Now, just keep an eye on your Horizon magazine because this restaurant is not open all the time. We've only been able to eat in here for breakfast. It doesn't seem to be open for lunch. And then it's open for an evening meal for the people who've selected a certain table sitting time. I think there's a 6.30 and an 8.30. We are not 100% sure how you book this. So maybe if you, you desperately want the same seating time, that might be something that you can look into. So this is the Meridian restaurant now. This is on the mid-aft of deck five but this is the furthest you can go back on deck five you cannot go further than the meridian right so we're in deck five now this is in the atrium over here you have the blue bar and then on the other side you have your marketplace cafe which is another place you can get your costa coffees from they do have a pianist or a singer in here throughout sometimes in the day but definitely throughout the night this is the white wall galleries now in here uh, we won't go too far in here because these are very expensive paintings and knowing me I'll trip over but don't worry they do no percent finance so overall it is a nice little atrium it did have a refit back in 2019 I think they updated some of the decor and added some shops and things like that and I also said at the beginning that the Queen actually christened the Britannia and there is a lovely photo of her when she did that back in 2015 and she's standing in this atrium so we'll put that over now because it is a lovely photo right so on deck five we've just found this as well we have been looking for this and it's taken until we've done this ship tour to find it they do have a picture of the late queen elizabeth uh, the second because as stacy did say before she did christen this ship so they got a little picture there with some flower arrangements below then we've got the limelight club so this is your it's like a speciality restaurant slash show in one now this can sell out quite quickly I suppose it depends on who's on because it does change uh, they have different acts on they have people who've been on tally they have uh, people who've been on like the X Factor and stuff like that and you do get a meal as well and the prices do change depending on who is performing there are a few bad seats in here so the stage is just here this lovely pillow is here so yeah, I was just saying, we've never done the Limelight Club, so I'm not sure how it, how it works. But is it first come, first served? Like, is it the earlier you get here, the better seat you get? Or when you boot the show, do you say, like, we want a table or two and they allocate allocate you a table no matter if you get here early or late? Because I'd be pretty miffed, right? I've paid 35 quid, come watch a performer. I'm sat here and who's, who's performing? 
I can't see because that pillar's in the way. So yeah, it'd be pretty miffed really. Right, so this is your holiday essential shop. This is where you can get stuff like crisps and snacks. Uh, they've got uh, a section with more toiletries and stuff like that in. They've got some P&O merch, some clothes, some teddies, cups and all different things there. And then just opposite that on deck five is the reception. So if you've got any problems, these wonderful people will sort you out. And then just across from reception, this is Explorers. This is where you can come and book any excursions or if you've got any questions about excursions, you can come here and they will answer them for you. And then lastly, at the back of deck five, this is the Oasis Spa and Healthcare Center. This is where you can come for any treatments. I think they might have bits like hairdressers and stuff like that. We were going to book Stacey in to get her chin waxed. <laughs> Cheeky. I'll just pluck it myself when we get home, it's fine. But check out your Horizon magazine. I've just picked one up from the reception there because to, especially toward getting towards like the end of the cruise, they start to have like special offers on and things like that for facials and massages and things like that. So make sure you check that out. So there we go. We hope you've enjoyed the tour of the P and O Britannia. We hope it's useful for you if you are coming on board the ship for the yeah. first time. And if you have already cruised on the Britannia, let us know in the, in the comments below, what are your thoughts of the ship? We will have a full review of our time on board the uh, Britannia and our thoughts and any tips we might have picked up for you. So that might be another helpful video that's coming out probably just after this one. As well as if you go back and watch all the videos, all the videos that we've done on board the ship. So. Shut up, shit. Sorry about the noise. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, we've helped you. And as always, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave any comments what your thoughts on the ship and all yeah, that. Yeah, or any questions were. or anything yeah. like that. So, oh, it's, it's gone quiet now. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.